Welcome back, it's Carl here. And today in SQL, we're gonna be inserting data into the sales table. We're gonna confirm that data was entered. So before we go ahead and get started, first things first, let's go ahead and put this on Huff Global. And then I'm gonna do a select all. And we're gonna be doing this from sales. And the F5 is a shortcut for a sales table. So now we know we're looking at our sales table and the columns that we have is ID, car type, store category, and amount. So we can just go ahead here, just back this up. Let's just start with uh, insert into. And we're inserting into sales. And then the next, we're gonna do our values. And since it's an integer, you don't need the single quotes. The next one is going to be the card type. And this is a var char. If you remember from the last exercise, this is the var char. So we're going to do the single quotes. And then we're going to call this the visa. The next one is going to be the store category, which is an actual var char as well. And then we're going to just say this is an electronics. And then the next one is amount. So this is another integer. So we're just gonna put in a random amount. So we're gonna put in 1500. After 1500, we're gonna put a semicolon and that's gonna enter in our first row. So then we can come here again and do another insert into sales, values, And this is gonna be row two. And we're just gonna say this is a master. And we'll call this one a grocery, grocery store. And the value here is so now we have entered in our 10 rows. So let's just, let me just scroll down a little bit. So now we have entered in the data that we want to insert into our sales table. And we have exactly 10 rows. What we've basically done was cycle through three different cards. So the Visa, the MasterCard, Discover card, Visa, Master, Discover, Visa, Master, Discover, then Visa. Then we cycle through a few different store categories which is electronics grocery store retail dealership miscellaneous and online and then we just chose some different amounts so we can play around with some numbers and now we're just going to come up here and do a execute so we have all of these different roles affected once we do that now we want to run a query on the sales table so we're just gonna say select all from sales we're gonna hit F5 here and now we see we we've inserted data into that sales table and we have the sales table like so now at this point we have created a sales tables and a customer table so if we do a select all on our customer table from customer We'll see that in our customer table, we also have 10 rows. So we have two different tables with consistent rows. And at this point, we are good to go.